you welcome to another heavy metal diecast video and today's example we have here is the Machi C202 Folgor by D. Agostini 172nd scale diecast. Uh, this was an Italian fighter developed by Machi Aeronautica uh, for the Italian Air Force during World War II. It was introduced in 1941 with around 1150 made in all its variants. So what we'll do is we'll get this, uh, we'll see, get this bad boy open, we'll have to get Blady out what? and see if we can cut this open. Here we go, so as you can see we're uh, checking this baby out for the first time together. Comes in your standard sort of packet. Um, which does you know, have you, it's just a little backing, so it's that magazine magazine type. So, I mean, this fighter itself was a fairly effective fighter. Um, you know, compared to its uh, opposition, like Spitfires and Hurricanes, it was able to perform reasonably well um, in combat against them, but it, it sort of lacked um, punch to be a really heavy hitter, you know, especially against the uh, you know larger aircraft like bomber formations and stuff like that. It was uh, sort of lacking in a bit of firepower, and it, you know, it only had a pair of machine guns, um, and uh, which, which often were prone to jamming, and that's one thing you definitely do not want from your uh, fighter aircraft. But overall, this looks like a pretty cool example. So, um, yeah, after Italy changed sides during World War II, um, most uh, surviving aircraft were relegated to uh, training roles. So we'll we'll get this little little beast out and um, have a little look at. Comes out nicely, so it's got a your typical little baggie with the tail wheel, little aerial in there. Um, we'll just move this to the side, put that right there for a second. So this particular example doesn't come in the instructions, but it's got a, you know your standard stand, which does have some details of the aircraft there. Um, so we'll just pick up this bad boy here, and we'll have a little look underneath. I mean, it's a it's a pretty nice rendition. I mean, this is this. Cost me, I think, a whole twenty-seven dollars. <laughs> so we'll just uh, chuck a little bit of um, landing gear on. So that was twenty-seven dollars, including the delivery to me as well. So that was including the postage and everything like that. Um, the landing gear goes on nice and easy, as you can see. I think it's a very, very tidy sort of unit. And we'll put this uh, front prop on, and that goes on quite easily and um, spins, as you can see, quite, quite freely as well. And we'll have a little little closer look at this this little Italian fighter. And you can see, look, look the panel lines and everything like that, are, I think, are, are really nice. Um, coloration, it's very good color-wise. The, the paint paint and everything like that, markings, very nice. I, I don't have any issue with that. Um, as I said, it's got a little uh, packet for a little tail wheel to go on there. You can see those tail markings there, if I can show you a little bit clearer it's got some nice um, markings there but overall I think this is not a, not a bad little fighter I mean we'll do a little sausage finger test I mean similar in size I suppose to the comparable allied fighters um, like the Hurricane Spitfire even um, you know to the to 109 very comparable in size but um, overall I think look to be honest it's it's not a bad bad unit i mean it, the rendition is quite good I, i'm pretty happy with it it's gonna sit up on the shelf with without any dramas and obviously the uh stand is very straightforward it's it's just one of these types of ones where you just chuck it in the hole but the hole is the paint's quite thick on this it seems to be uh, so the hole was not exactly friendly <laughs> but um and there you have it anyway it's uh all up on the stand, and I think it's quite a presentable aircraft for what it is for a $27 Australian special, um, very, very budget, budget style um, aircraft. And as I said, these, these panel lines and the markings and everything are, are, are quite nice. I don't have any, any issue with it whatsoever. I think it's an excellent rendition of the actual aircraft itself. It's not a very, very common aircraft. You know, I don't think there's a, there's a ton of them, ton of them kicking around. So you're, um, you're pretty limited to what you can get. But um, if you're like me and trying to get a, um, you know, an, an aircraft, a collection of as many different types of aircraft as you can, 
in one seventy second scale, then uh, this is a good one to grab. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll keep it short and sweet and keep it at that. And uh, look, you know the deal. I'll uh, post some photos at the conclusion of this video without my sausage fingers being in the way. Um, if you can spare those couple of seconds to give us a bit of a like, that'd be awesome. And even subscribe to the channel. So um, yeah, that'd be fantastic if you can. So as, as, as I'll say again, this is the uh, Machi 202 Folgore. It's an Italian fighter. This is in 172nd scale die cast. It's a D'Agostini example. And um, I think it's it's a pretty pretty good example for, for what it is. So yeah. All right, guys. I'll keep it short and sweet. Um, you guys have a great rest of your day. And thank you very much for watching. Cheers, guys.